What's up everyone? I am Ryan. I am Adam. And we're the Boston Brothers V2. Back here with another video. Back here with WrestleMania 32 weekend day number four. Horseman. We are right out here. Uh, right in front of uh, the Omni Hotel. Real nice hotel by the way. Wish I had a football. I would be going long right now. That's the access is like right over there. And as you can see all the banners up. Shane Brock. So what we got going on today? We're heading to Evolve right now, second time. We went yesterday, pretty good show. Hoping that this one can maybe top that from yesterday. There's some pretty good matches set, set on the card. We're heading there with Ravi. He's got the tickets for us. Yeah, we gotta meet him. It's right. like uh, 11 o'clock right now. This is an early show, it's going on at noontime. 12 o'clock, door opens. And um, yeah, the main event tonight, uh, this afternoon, Ricochet and Will Osprey, a guy that we saw the first time, Will Osprey, uh, yesterday, and we were very impressed, so yeah. this match with Ricochet today, whew, very excited. Could be up the charts. Oh yeah, that's going to be worth the price alone. Definitely. <laughs> so, we'll get ahead that away and go meet up with Ravi. Let's do it. We found this uh, nice little bench here to sit on. Nice chill spot. Yeah, that's why we wait on Ravi. This is the venue right here that all like WWN events is happening, like uh, Dragon Gate, Evolve, Eddie Dean's CZW, Ranch. Eddie Dean's Ranch. Doesn't look like much from the outside, but it is actually pretty well decorated on the inside with all your horseshoe memorabilia. There's the city. Big AT&T building. AT&T is pretty big out here. <laughs> now we're just waiting for Ravi to come and bring us some tickets. Should be here any minute. hotel room now just getting out of the evolve show my voice is a little bit hoarse yeah because uh, of all the action yeah. that we saw we couldn't help crazy. but get a little crazy there all right um where to begin i just want to first talk about evolve because this is the first time we ever saw evolve right. and we saw evolve yesterday and today and i just want to say that i like evolve very much me too <laughs> i think it's a great product it's a great promotion um it's just like constant action Right. There's never really any low spots in the show. There's no breaks. Like, no, I wait till it takes an intermission. Right. But they don't do that Evolve. I like that. Yeah, I hate intermissions because I go to these shows, like, to see the main event. And so I just can't wait to see, like, the main event. Oh, so no. Then it's dragging longer. Right. They drag it out. Yeah. And especially when the main event's, uh, like, Ricochet and Will Osprey. Right. Oh, man, what a match. That, that was one of the best matches we've seen live in a while, I think, oh, yeah. speaking for both of us. Yeah, and that was one of like the best displays of athleticism that I've ever seen. Yeah, in a wrestling know. match. Yeah, no even, joke. I was like questioning, like, how do they even do this? Like, oh, they were going crazy. <laughs> they were doing things like we've never seen before. Yeah. That's what I, I love about like Evolve. Like, uh -huh. There's a lot of different like move sets or different like styles. This, yeah. one, this one guy, forget his name, but he actually beat Zack Sabre Jr. Oh, he's yeah. like an MMA guy. Right. He has like, wears MMA trunks and he has like advertisements on it, like uh -huh. blow out cards was on his trunks. Yeah. <laughs> he thinks he's like an MMA fighter, but right. this dude's actually pretty good. Mm -hmm. He beat Sabre Jr. They so they obviously, right? right? They yeah. obviously see something in him. Yeah, there's a lot of people like that. Like when they come out, I'm like, oh, like who's this guy? And then he gets to work in. It's like, wow, they he's got some great. talent in this organization. That's like, true. I talked about him. Yeah, that's like Drew Galloway was saying too. He was like, how come no one talks about Evolve? There's so much great talent on the roster and everything. Or it's yeah, pretty it's much now like they can work anywhere in the indies, but yeah, they true. have their like regulars that they use. So. And Evolve, yeah, yeah, they bring. Like Ricochet has to be like the biggest guy they have. Right. 
Yeah, or they're all fighting to be the biggest guy right, to evolve. Everyone There's wants a lot to of competition. Beat it. Like they probably want to bring that promotion up to like the level that Ring of Honor's at. That's, That's how true. Look at it like that. And uh, the great thing about it is something that Gemini was mentioning is that it just focuses on like the in ring action. Like there's no like over the top production. Right. So it's kind of like a different feel. They just oh, focus yeah. solely on the two guys in the ring. Just who's the best competitor. Right. So uh, we're gonna be heading to the Hall of Fame next. So, you know, we gotta change our clothes up a little oh, yeah. bit. We can't. I might keep this underneath like a zip oh, yeah. up thing. Sting. It's Sting. Yeah. It's his show. It's his moment. Yes. We're gonna just walk there right to the American Airlines Arena. 6 30, it starts. Let's do it. We are all set, all ready for the WWE Hall of Fame tonight. Let's Instead of dress the nines. Oh, yeah, man. I'm ready to go. A little collared oh, shirt. Well, I feel like a real cowboy, You're man. Texan. This, this hat is awesome. This is like the best thing I've bought. I feel like a really? boss. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, putting it over. Oh, hell yeah. But, um, yeah, so Hall of Fame is a few hours away. We want to grab something to eat first. There's like a place right across the hotel that we've seen. Uh, yeah. Like every time we're like, oh, we should go there. So now's the chance. It's sure. like a New York sub shop, it says. A deli. So let's see how they try and do New York subs out here in Texas. <laughs> <laughs> Could be a little off. <laughs> yeah. But, um, yeah, it's like a five-minute walk away, so we're going to head over there, and then we're going to be catching an Uber with, like, a bunch of people to go to the Hall of Fame, so pretty excited. That's Let's go grab something to eat real quick. All right, we're walking up right now. There you see it. Where we're heading Cindy's. for that grub. That's, that's Cindy's a, that's NY Deli right and here. Restaurant. Yeah, that's where we came from. A huge hotel. Around to the ball that you always see in the Dallas skyline. It looks like every mirror is, like, perfectly clean. That's true. They must have great window washers down here. <laughs> but yeah, we're heading in there right now. The Cindy's NY Deli and Restaurant. I'll tell you what we get. We'll show you guys the food like always. Let's go. It's closed. Oh wow. We'll have to find a new spot. Right on the spot right here. Uh, McDonald's. Yeah, it might be the option. Let's go. Alright, so literally like two minutes up the street, we do have the subway that Ryan went to like for breakfast the other day. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab some subs right now. Close. Is that close? <laughs> How? <laughs> How is that close? The open isn't open. Oh yeah. That's weird. Can't be. Yeah, we'll we'll go up to the door Let's right now. The door, and if not, I'm breaking in there because oh, I gotta shit. eat. We need subs. I haven't eaten. I only had a bagel. I need some food. They won't let us in. We can't get our subs. Look at these weird hours on Saturday. It's 10 to 3. That's pretty weird, seeing as they probably make a lot of money on a Saturday. Right? They don't want our money. They even close on Sunday. Like, what's, what's up with the subway? subway? <laughs> I don't get it. It's not like that in Boston. We gotta head this way now. Uh, the next option is gonna be the McDonald's. Or the Pizza Hut. Or the pizza I hut. say the Pizza Hut. We'll see. Definitely something quick. Yeah, because we need that. Gotta get to that fame. And we need that food. So stay tuned. Try this McDonald's, the yellow arches. Telltale sign. You see the arches from the distance, you know McDonald's close. Right. And thankfully the line isn't out the door anymore. It's right here in the city. It goes all the way up. It's gotta be like the biggest building. <laughs> So you trying to get like chicken sandwich? That's what I'm trying to get. Well, let's go. <laughs> All right, so after like a long line in there, we finally got our Mickey D's. Whew. That line was painful. It was. And it was just crazy in there. There's no man. seats in there. That's why we ended up on this bench here. Yeah, out in this park. Right in this parkway, <laughs> right? But it's right there, anyways. Yeah, that's true. But man, those uh, workers in there, they man deserve the fifteen dollars. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. That was crazy in there. People, of people running up to the counter. This isn't what I ordered. I ordered this. Where is this? Right. Where is that? Mass confusion. Oh uh, yeah, craziness. I'm just glad to be out of there and moving on with my life. You want that? You got that artisan chicken sandwich. Damn. Let's go. I got these like twenty nuggets. It was like five bucks. So I'm chow down. All right, so we decided to skip that Uber. We're deciding to walk to it. As you see, like we've only been walking like 10 minutes now. It's already right up there. Yeah. There's the American Airlines. They said on uh, the Uber thing that they were, they had like such high uh, usage rate at the time, so the fare right. was going up. Because they like, know everyone's trying to get three. to the fame. Times three, so uh, yeah, we got to burn that McDonald's off anyway, so we might as well right. just do the just walk mile in. walk. Yeah, already so close now. It's in the distance. Giant pipe. Yeah, some construction going on out here. There's a lot of construction going on out here. The city's coming up. Oh, definitely. Tell. But yeah, we'll see you guys when we get in there. There it is. 
There you see it, Hall of Fame. Big night, prestigious night in WWE history. Just look, do it like a 360. Right? This area. There's a plaza, must be where all goes down for the Mavs games, Stars games. New! You got your merch stand. There it is. Merch mania. <laughs> this is the AT&T Plaza. Right, right there. Right there. there. New! They rocks! New! They rocks! Alright, so with this dude out here, Gene, uh, Gene, our so man. Well. How you doing? <laughs> we need How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> this is Enzo right here. <laughs> I wish. Do you have like a Twitter to plug for the people yeah, here? Yeah, man. For the trip, especially it's G Mania 32. Go, all, go follow the man. That's also on Instagram, which is what I use more than Twitter. Get him on that too. Definitely Instagram over Twitter. If that's what he uses oh, yeah. more. Meeting oh, yeah. all these people, we gotta post the pics. Right, that's oh, yeah. true. That's what it's for. Up here in front of the Spring Hill. The Spring town. Hill. Stain just retired. Yeah. Oh, that was crazy. I met him last night. Uh -huh. How was that? <laughs> it was cool, man, but I asked him about that taker match, and he was like, yeah, we'll see. But right. Yeah. yeah. That's what everyone wants. We know Every, now, Everyone was going for that. Right, yeah. Not gonna happen. But that, that, that we'll see you later. Who knows? That's like a cliffhanger. Hey, <laughs> something could happen. Yeah, <laughs> gotta keep the hope He's going. going back on his word, maybe? Who knows? <laughs> Hey, I'd be cool if he did. Right. <laughs> lie true. to me, Sting, lie to me. Uh, hopefully. <laughs>